This is Jefferson Close-Up, and I'm Carol Celine. My guest is Dr. Yaron Moschel. Welcome. Hello. You had a pretty interesting childhood. You were born in Israel, and your parents came to America with their three children when you were just eight years old. Now, I'm wondering what effect growing up as an immigrant in a foreign country had on you. Well, growing up as an outsider it was quite it was challenging. Um, probably my the hardest part of it was English was my third language, so that made it hard in school um, and f with friends. Well, you obviously overcame whatever language barriers you had because you won a science fair when you were in high school. And then after college, when you were in medical school, you did a combined uh, PhD and MD program, and you were class valedictorian. Why did you do the, the combined uh, PhD and MD, though? You know, when I finished college, or during college, I was very interested in neuroscience. Um, I, I, that started out as a philosophical interest. Um, I had an interest in philosophy and, and metaphysics, and slowly it matured into the sciences as I learned more about the biology of the brain. Um, and so that was the avenue that I wanted to pursue in the beginning. Medicine came something that I realized later on. Um, now, you're a neurosurgeon, as you mentioned earlier. What about your job do you like best? Well, brain surgery is very unique. It's not like a lot of other fields where there's a set menu of operations that you can perform. Mm -hmm. You know, each Tumors arise in random locations, um, and you have to cater the operation to that person. You know, the goals of every operation is different, and you, you temper those goals with mm -hmm. what's important to that patient. So what do you think that you bring to your patients that's special? Well, I think every patient's unique, and every patient needs to have you know, their operation and their care. You have to cater it to, to what they need. A lot of times the first operation is your best chance in, in battling a lot of these problems and it's very important that you really take out all the tumor as much as you possibly can. You told me you're a very optimistic person. What would you say is your life motto? I think that probably comes from my childhood. Um, I think that you know, life is beautiful. Everything, every little Aww. detail in life um, is important and there's something beautiful in all, all of these in what I do, a lot of very bad situations, you always find something nice. Life is beautiful. Wow, what a wonderful way to go through. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you.